Hey everybody, Sam here and Angela and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be getting more into the living room area and possibly working on the front door some, we'll see. But first we have to clean up this area. We got to prep the space to demolitionize it. So one, two, three. It is done. That was quick. It was quick. If only it was really that quick in real life. Hmm. <laughs> so let's go on in here in the hallway. I want to show you guys something. I want to tell you guys something. Uh oh. Over here we have a coat rack. Is that what this is called? I guess so. It's a coat rack. I made this a couple years back. I want to make sure to save this. I didn't want it to get damaged. If I remember right, I think it slide locks on the wall. So we'll figure it out. This has not been moved in six years. So. Hey, cool. Is there a date on the back? No date. What kind of shoddy construction is that? No dates? How are you supposed to remember where I built that? All right, so we showed you the coat rack and that was amazing. Here's what I want to tell you. So for anyone who's just plopped into this one video or new to our channel, this is our living room in our house. Well, you're actually at the front door. And what you're going to see behind us is the renovation we've done with the boys' bedroom. That's been completely gutted and renovated. So has the bathroom, which is over here to my right. What we're going to be doing today is starting on this wall, taking out the drywall, in preparation of replacing our front door on the house. Why do we need to replace the front door? Because it's rotten and junk. There are places that you could probably put your finger through. We had some old leaking, but since then we have put on a new roof with mm -hmm. the overhang so we don't have water draining down the side of the house like it used to. Right. Problem fixed. Right. Now we need to patch. Right. You can see some of the colors the walls used to be in here. A little dark. When we did our boys' bedroom renovation, we used the window. We have upgraded. Oh my goodness. We have the oh. front door. Ah, it's like I'm on fire. It's an explosion. <laughs> what is happening? There you Ow. go. See you again. Here at the front of the house, we have our utility trailer parked. So that is going to be very handy for wait for it camera's got to find out where it's at that's gonna be really handy for throwing all of our junk out into the trailer and then hauling it off super quick all right angela's done with the door casing and that was honestly really easy quick work what's next you need to take off the crown molding at the top and then it should leave it open for drywall to come down all right take that crown off and we'll take that crown. drywall down It missed! <laughs> you guys out there who know how much I love crown molding are probably thinking, ho, oh, there goes Sam who loves crown molding. We're throwing this away. We'll get new stuff because we found we can't match up what we can buy with what this stuff is. So, in the trash it goes. Oh, thank you. Presents. I can see the green. Got here to the red dawn again. Clean it up. That's what kids are for. 
All right, so we're going to do that yeah, one. There's screws that need to come out, though. Okay. Let's use the boys' bedroom to keep it clean. Okay. Yeah, please. And the bathroom. 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 I got the screws out. Just, he's just ripping them out of the wall. They're out. It's demolition. All right, go on. Careful, careful, careful. Stay out. Need to drill or something to take this box out. Well, there you go. Hammer man, but you could have just used this hammer. It's like waiting for a balloon to pop. <laughs> You're, you're waiting for a balloon to pop. Uh, uh, Can somebody get the door, Elijah? Oh my gosh. There's my soul man. Oh, oh man. It went over the trailer. Elijah, go clean that up the door. <laughs> okay. I'm joking. Ready? It flew like a giant paper airplane. Some precision cuttage there and scoring. Come on, hon. Okay. Ah. I'm trying to be What's careful that? so we can... I was going to try and do that and go through it so you can pull the whole thing off is my thought. Sometimes it works. I'm going to use mine. <laughs> now I'll just make a bigger mess. We really need to it's open that there. window and put a box fan in it. Elijah, a box fan. We have the drywall off up to and above the door. We're going to go ahead and take this next sheet off. It's a little bit further than we want to go. We're not trying to destroy our whole living room right now, but that's going to be the best option. We take it all the way to the window. It's another four foot wide section and it'll be okay. So that's what we're going to do next.
Yep. That's it. All of it? Yeah, just give me a second. I'll just tear these out and you can turn them back on. Really? Come on now. What? You don't you? Want me, you don't want me to take these out or just me grab them? You grabbing them. This doesn't itch me like it does you. Watching me. Bring them in. I'll just put them right here at the window. Well, how does it feel to have a little more demolishing under your belt? That's like a your little more forte. Dust in the house and <laughs> yeah, the dust was really rough on this one. The box fan in the window helped, but I mean, it just kind of is what it is. That's the reason we kind of put this off as long as we can because we knew it was going to intrude upon our house. There's no way to contain it like there was with the boys' room. Right. As you guys saw, drywall in a mobile home is not super well attached to your wall studs. Okay, at least our model, 88 model, yeah. It's put up there with staples and comes down pretty easily. And in some areas, you would think the people got paid by the staple. Because there's a lot. <laughs> Everywhere. Yes, you would think so, yeah. So I prefer to use pliers to pull out the staples because it really eats up the oscillating tool blades. And those things are expensive. We went and got a three pack from the hardware store for this job and it was 
and we kind of didn't open that pack. We were determined to see if we can get through this whole project with the old blades we have. And if so, awesome, we'll take it back. I don't know if the price has increased that much or we were just feeling stingy that day. I don't know. It seemed like 45 bucks is a lot for three blades. So, old Manuel labor works good. And it's cleaner. It is. It's quiet. Yeah. We saw us take out the old insulation, and that is par for the course for this place. It's got the old fiberglass insulation in the walls, and oh, we just don't like it. It itches her to death, but honestly, I don't have any problems with the fiberglass insulation. That's why you see me carrying it out and kind of And like, I'm like trying to chopstick it with two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, so... I don't know. Don't know why, but it's pretty helpful in this case, right? Yeah. As far as surprises inside the wall, there were a handful of old bee nests in there, or wasp nests. That was not really that big of a surprise to us. Mm -hmm. um, we're glad they were all old. No active Most ones. Most definitely. Yeah. So that was nice. Um, otherwise, your, your typical evidence of prior rodent damage or... I don't know, stuff's been in there. That's to be expected with an old home as well. But nothing new and nothing alive. Well, we didn't find anything dead either. And um, as far as the stains and the water damage looks, it's all old, which is great. It's yes. really, really great to see that since we have put the new roof on the home with the overhangs, that all of this discoloration and the floor and the walls and everything is old. So it's good to see that our work has really been paying off. Well, guys, thanks for coming along as we did a little bit more demo today. It's always fun. It is. <laughs> this will be a fun project. Um, leave us a comment below. We love to read them. And otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See you. Bye. Why do we need... Mm -hmm. How much I love Crown Malt... You're still in the oh. focus. Stop it. That's better. Which, speaking of, using pliers to pull the staples is probably your preferred method. <laughs> preferred method? Oh, wow. All right, third time's a charm, right? So, speaking of using... <laughs> so, speaking of using pliers to pull the staples, I can't look at you. <laughs> All right, so just tell them. Using pliers is my prefer preferred... <laughs> You guys like bloopers. All it takes is us trying to talk and say something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so obviously using pliers to pull the zip. <laughs> Quit it. Right, I'm not going to look at you. All right, you're not here. You better not look at the camera then. <laughs> I do see you. <laughs> so Angela likes to use the pliers to pull the staples out because it's a lot... <coughs> Tickled me and I can't stop now. I just got skills, I guess. 17 years of marriage, huh? <laughs>